Time for another unboxing. This time, it's the Zeiss Truett 50mm Prime E-mount lens for Sony. Uh, an f-stop of 2.8 and my very first prime lens. The reason I've gone for this one is last year when I went to the camera show, I went to the Zeiss stand and said, can I try all the lenses that were fit with my A6000? And I went through every single one and this one had just some sort of magical quality for me. I think it's going to come through with filming video, uh, more so than maybe a still. Um, it, it can be used as a macro prime, so you can go really close, and it's a one-to-one -one, uh, ratio. But you can also do things like panoramas um, and some quite you know, sort of held back shots with it, which um, I thought is actually more versatile than you might first think. So well, there we are, I've gone for it. Now this sort of goes up to about £800 here in the UK and I found it for under £500 and I think it's 454 is the cheapest it's ever been that I've, I've seen so I've gone for it. They only had one and here it is. So let's unbox. Must say, I like the little uh, hologram label there, not that I'm ever going to see it again because these are just going in storage. So, there we are. Quick look round the outside of that. There, picture of the lens. Not really much to see there, is there? There we go. Right, it's out of the way. Quite a lot of elements, in it, isn't there, for a prime? But yeah, it's still got a focus, haven't they? Oh, there we are, straight in. Let's try not to drop this one. So there's the lens. Right, let's look right the way through that. Let's see if we can do that there. And also apparently if it's got old firmware on it, you can't update it on the camera. You've got to send it back. It's a bit unusual. Now I see it's got a big rubber part here for focusing. It's quite grippy actually. Very grippy. Seems alright. So let's see. Let's put the lens hood on. Or not, as the case may be. Line up the lines. There we go. So, in fact, I would say if I just bring in my uh, Zeiss 16 to 70. And put the lens hood on there. It's actually quite big. Let's see how it goes on the camera. So let's get rid of this one. If you're wondering what this is, <laughs> this is uh, my own little invention because the microphones are either side and it's uh, trying to give it a little bit of uh, keeping the wind noise down without getting in the way so you can just take it off. Right then, let's pop that in there. It seems to focus fairly quickly actually if you're on automatic. And I'm on DMF mode on here, so let's uh, hold that and focus away. There you go. So it works well with DMF.
So the first few photos that I take with this I will put up uh, a link underneath the video so you can have a look. So there we are, that's that. I don't think there's much else in the box. Let me just put it back onto that lens there. What else do we have? Oh, who it's made by, who, who checked the lens, some sort of guarantee there, and the instruction manual. And mm, not a lot to read really, a few pages. Just a few pages in there. Oh well, there we are. That's uh, pretty much it. I don't think. Uh, shame it uh, once again. No, um, no nice case uh, or pouch to keep the lens in. Yeah, there's nothing under there. A bit of a shame, really. And I've just ripped the box. Right. Yeah. So there's there's no lens protection other than the uh, about. Front and back plastics. Bit of a shame that. Uh, there we are. Well, nothing much else to say about that. Other than uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you again soon. Bye for now.